Hey guys, this is Amy at Jack and Amy Dev. And in this video, I bring some really good news for you. There has been some updates and changes to the Manifest version 2 sunset timeline. So let's see, let's look at the details. So basically, they're talking about how they plan on phasing out Manifest version 2 extension. But I just wanted to give you the short version. First of all, they give you an incentive to migrate as soon as possible to Manifest version 3. In January, it's going to be a prerequisite to have the featured badge. I don't know if you've heard about this, but I'll probably make another video of what it is and how to get it. So only Manifest version 3 extensions will be able to have this badge. So... The next item in line is June 2023 and that the Chrome Web Store will no longer allow Manifest version 2 items to be published public. So if your extension is public, it's going to go unlisted so people will not be able to search for it on the Web Store search. So what does this tell you? It tells you that your Manifest version 2 extension will still work by June 2023. So it doesn't explicitly say it in this blog post, but you, my friend, my developer friend, will be able to push Manifest version 2 update until about June 2023. Now, let's confirm this so you are not like, Amy, are you sure about this? I'll show you. So. In the Manifest version 2 support timeline doc, it explicitly says that in January of 2024, the Chrome Web Store will stop accepting updates to existing Manifest version 2 extensions. Okay, so this, it's like a mystery. Honestly, you have to read between the lines and then say, aha, this is the truth. So you're going to be able to push updates to your Manifest version 2 extensions till January 2024. But I am recommending you, my friends, to convert your extension to Manifest version 3 by June 2023. And why is that? Starting in June for Chrome 115, they may run experiments to turn off support for manifest version 2 extensions in all channels, including stable. What does this mean? What is it saying? So the way that uh, Chrome pushes different releases is that they, they test on 1,000 users, 10,000 users, and it's just gradual. So it says here officially that they will stop accepting updates, but I would say don't risk it. You make your own decision. That's okay. But here's the information and my personal recommendation and what I'm going to do with my extensions is I'm going to convert before June 2023. So basically now you have about six months more to convert your extension. They are working on making this transition less painful. So the Chrome team has really put effort into uh, hearing and understanding what features would help extension developers transition easier. So let's look at that doc. Along with the blog post, they published this known issues when migrating to manifest version three. Now, this is not a complete list. Okay. This is an ongoing uh, document. So bookmark it, check it. Frequently, it talks about known issues that affect developers, both capabilities, like features that they plan on incorporating to the browser. And then there's bugs that are actually being worked on and fixed at this very moment. And it, they will be announced in the future. There's a list of capabilities. There's an estimated timeline. That's really nice to have. So you can watch out for that. In fact, some of them are coming pretty soon here within the next month or early November. So. You can also follow and track the issue number if you are into that. And here's some more bugs. Another document that I would recommend bookmarking and checking often is the what's new in Chrome extensions because they, they announce all the new pages that they're adding or blog posts relating to extensions. There's also anything to do with the Chrome Web Store or policies. This is nice. 
super excited that we have a little bit more time and I hope to make some more videos. I've been very busy with extension related things that I will make another video about because they're good and also some tools for Chrome extension development. Look forward to that. Okay, guys, good luck migrating to Manifest version 3. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. I will do my very best to point you to docs or bug, <laughs> bug, bug organizers where they say they're going to fix things or just see how I can help. But good luck and continue making Chrome extensions because they are pretty awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye.